Okay, well this is going to be the first official uh, run of the 8 horsepower vertical Bessemer engine. It's going to be running on uh, propane. It's going to be using a uh, total loss cooling system. Basically uh, a garden hose trickling water through the cylinder. Just to keep it, uh, keep it from overheating. It's going to be running buzz cool ignition. Uh, as at this time, I think this little rusty spring here just isn't cutting it for the uh, the impulse mechanism for the magneto. It doesn't really produce a reliable spark when you're trying to start it. So, buzz quill will do for now. You might see a spring men making video coming up soon, though. Gonna have to learn how to make springs. Got the muffler that I built for it. It's kind of awkward looking, but uh, it's not that far off from what this engine would have uh, been equipped with originally. So, I'm going to try to start it. It hasn't been run very much, so uh, it might be a little bit finicky, but uh, it's worthy of a video because this is the way it happens. You got to tinker with these things to get them to run right. So, we're going to see how it does. Valve here, but you got to make sure you turn the propane tank on first. Okay. Now the fuel's on. I'm so excited.
strange backfires. Like that. Interesting. That's a quiet muffler, though. Turns out it's probably one of the most, the quietest engines I own right now, or pretty much have ever owned, I would think. Just wait until you, you guys watch the video, the raw, we'll call it the raw behind the scenes video of this engine before it had that muffler on it. Ooh, it sounds like it's getting in the groove now. We'll get the backfire every once in a while. I think I might have a, a, a gasket leaking on the crankcase. Might be sucking a little bit of air somewhere. Could be that in a combination of late timing. Maybe I'll try to advance the timing another two in the future. Not too many of these engines still around, so the fact that it's running at all is, uh, is a plus. My intake there. Ran the back by every once in a while. Back up. So what do you guys think? Has it been worth it waiting all this time? It has been for me when I consider uh, what this engine looked like when I got it. It's really something. It's really a step in the right direction for this engine. Well, you guys will just have to be patient now. I'm pretty busy with work and everything and other projects going on. So, the next video you see of this engine will be when it's mounted on its cart. I recently purchased all the wood for that and the wheels. So, time to build a cart for it. Remember, I don't know if you remember, uh, in the original video for this engine, my deadline is um, the Jacktown Summer Show in uh, the middle of July next month. So I've got one month to get this engine on a cart and show ready. Oh, uh, maybe, oh, there it goes. Alright, let's set it down for the night. That's it. Get me a little bit of heat out of that water. It's a big two-stroke, so it's uh, makes some heat. Yeah, it's hot. Hot water. Hot water. It's a good thing they uh, they specified a 35-gallon cooling tank for this engine originally. It would need it if it was doing some hard work. So that's it for now. Thanks for keeping up with the videos. And don't worry, there'll be more coming.